Alright everyone, welcome back to another Lumion Legacy episode. And last episode we made um start a Lumion cam uh cam menu thingy. So now we're actually gonna work on some more data stores because we're gonna make it show a continue button if you're if you have a game, but if you don't have a game then it'll show a new game button. So yeah, so we'll start off by making the data store. So let's make another script. And by the way, let's make a folder. Um Let's do player manage manager. We'll we'll just put data in here and then I'll make another script. Uh, we'll call this um leader stats, I guess. Um so game dot player dot look uh, my god. Sorry. Connect function player. Okay. And then just make your values. So it's gonna be a bool value. Yeah. So um is or uh have game um instance dot new bool value have game dot parent is equal to player have game dot name is equal to have game um yeah now we have to make save the data store so we have to do local data store service the game service and then local date data store is it gonna data store service get data store okay and then you just um call this whatever you want i'm gonna just call it my data store call that whatever you want it's kind of like um in data the key right here so actually we'll do that just just because why not um put it up here and then just key um we could do tutorial um tutorial leader stats data i don't know whatever call that whatever you want okay we have that and now once we have that um i'm gonna do local player user id is equal to um okay player underscore dot dot player the user id local data local success error message is equal to pcal function whoops data is equal to my or sorry Data store service. <clears throat> um, get async. Oh wait. Oh, sorry. No data store service. Data store. Get async. And then player user ID. Okay, so we have that. Now we're gonna do if success then. Uh, have game dot value is equal to data dot have game and uh yeah so now that's that Ooh, whoops hold on okay so that's that now we need to do game dot players dot player rem removing connect function uh wait we're gonna need player in that too <clears throat> Um, do the same thing here. Okay, just copy it. Um, and then local data is equal to. Okay, have game is equal to player dot have game dot value. And yeah, so now uh, is equal to pcal function. Same thing. Or data store. Set async this time. Player is ID and then the data. Yeah. And now um what we have to do is uh, if success, then print a uh, leader stats successfully. 
else? Um, warn the error. And print didn't save leader stats. Okay. So, um, it should be everything, I think. For the data source, so, yeah, that's that. Now, yeah, to. What we need to do is. Oh, okay. Hmm. Alright, so. We have player. You know what? We'll just. Just to make this easier, we'll add a value all the way up here. Oh, yeah, go into your client script, by the way. Okay, so local. Have. Game val. Do it a player. Wait for child. Or, yeah, wait for child. Have. Game. Okay. So now. Okay, we have that. Um, the have game. Oh, wait. Let me see if I spelled that right. Have game. Okay, yeah. So. Right here. Um. New game button. If in intro. And have game val. The, the value. Is equals equal to false. Right. Um. Yeah, and then have game that value is equal to true. Right, uh well, if it's false and then we make it true. And now so we did that, okay. Um here, I'm gonna do some change stuff. I don't know what the name meant. Okay, right here, change stuff, okay. Um have been involved the change connect function. Have been involved or if have been involved a value is equal to equal to false or is equal to yeah equal equal to false then what we need to do is okay so we need to make another button. Let's twin this in. Um I think it's just zero, right? Yeah. No, I don't think it's zero. Uh, what do we make it twin to? Okay. 0 0.01, right? So let's do... Let's copy this. And then do 0 0.01. There we go, like that. Now there's gonna be another button. Okay, this is gonna be the new game button. And this is gonna be the continue... BTN. And if we made this invisible, okay, good, good, good. Continue. Invisible, and then that will go first. Good, that's good. So, we're gonna make this invisible for now. And then put it back to where it was. So I'm just gonna paste back the position. And then if then, um. Okay. Rip the parent for child made UI, wait for child buttons frame. Uh, continue button dot visible is equal to true. Um let's test this out. It should automatically be false. Oh god, it's taking a while. Okay. Okay, so have game false. See if it works though. Ah, okay. We still need to fix these logos right here. But yeah. Alright, so it doesn't show, but if we press new game. Okay, I made it true. Okay. And we still need to fix this as well. Yeah, it's a little bit buggy. But it's working a bit. Um, so yeah. I mean, you need to make that select button. Um, let's actually see if, if we go to the server. Or actually, player GUI, main GUI, buttons frame, continue. It's false for some reason. Um, oh, that's weird. 
sure we're supposed to make a charm. If have game... Oh, true. I think. I think we have to do that. Okay, and then let's do get property chain. Okay. Now I'm supposed to change kind of function. Wait, so if it's true, then we make it visible. Yeah. I did false. Sorry, man. If we were to stop, let's see if it saves. I mean, six, I mean, later set successfully saved. And let's see, please. Okay. And now it should show the continue button. Hopefully. Let's see. Come on. And. Ah. Oh, okay. It's supposed to look like this. Um. Continue button. Up is always a good true. And then we need to do a script up here. Wait for child. Main UI. Wait for child. Oh, I know why it's not working. Um, we're, we're doing not changed because. Once it changed, changes, then it'll check this. So. Error, but it still works. 
have some cat game. It's a false right now, so. We. Okay. We need to fix that. Alright, new game. Okay, it's true now. We go to player GY, main GY, buttons frame. This is visible, and this should be invisible. Yep. So let's rejoin. And hopefully it saves and the buttons should show correctly. So that saves, as you can see. Um, and hopefully the GUI should show correctly. Uh, let's go. <clears throat> So now it shows the continue button, and yeah, it doesn't show the new game button since we already have a game. So once you click continue, it will, it'll bring you back to where you were. But I'm gonna end this video right here because I'm pretty sure it's kind of long and I don't want to make these videos long. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.